Hello. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to get started programming with the OLC Pixel Game Engine using CMake. For convenience, I have organized the demonstrations by operating system. Choose your operating system and jump to its timestamp. On Windows, we'll begin by installing a package manager called Chocolatey. Visit the Chocolatey website and click on the Get Started link. You can subscribe to their mailing list if you choose, then scroll down to step two and choose Individual. Now, launch the Windows PowerShell as an administrator. Copy the command from the Chocolatey website and paste it into the PowerShell. This will install Chocolatey on your system. Now we will ensure that it is installed properly. Type in the following command to install CMake. It will ask you to run scripts. You should probably say yes, otherwise CMake will not install correctly. Next, we're going to add CMake to your path. To do that, we need to find where CMake is installed. Find CMake GUI in the Start menu and right-click on it. Then click Open File Location. Then do it again from the window which appears. Once you've found the CMake executable, copy the location from the address bar. Right-click on the Start menu, select System, then go to Advanced System Settings. Click the Environment Variables button. Under User Variables, find Path and double-click it. Create a new entry and paste the CMake location. Click OK to get out of the dialogs. Launch a command prompt and ensure that CMake is installed properly. For MinGW, we'll need to launch the Windows PowerShell as an administrator. Run the following commands to tell Chocolatey to install MinGW onto your system. It will ask you to run scripts. You should probably say yes, otherwise MinGW will not install correctly. This may take a few moments. After MinGW has finished installing, launch a command prompt. Run the following command to ensure that MinGW has installed properly. Pay special attention to the thread model, which must be POSIX in order to be compatible with the Pixel Game Engine. Download and extract the PGE template project from the GitHub repository. Launch a command prompt and navigate to the folder containing the repository.
run the following command to generate the mingw make files. Run the following command to build the source code into an executable. The executable will be located in the bin directory. You can now use whatever code editor you choose to develop your PGE application and use MinGW to build it. For Visual Studio, first visit the Visual Studio Downloads page on the Microsoft website. Click the free download button for the Community Edition. Launch the Visual Studio installer. There are many options to select here, but the one we're interested in is the Desktop Development with C++ option. Select it, then click the Install button on the lower right. This will take some time. Once that's finished installing, you will be given several options. You can sign in, if you choose, or skip the sign in. Under Development Settings, choose Visual C++, then choose a color theme. Then click Start Visual Studio. Download and extract the PGE template project from the GitHub repository. Launch a command prompt and navigate to the folder containing the repository. Run the following commands to generate the Visual Studio project files. Click on the solution file to launch Visual Studio. You can now use Visual Studio in the usual ways to develop and build your PGE application. Download and extract the PGE template project from the GitHub repository. From the Start menu, find the Visual Studio 2022 folder and select the X64 Native Tools command prompt.
Navigate to the folder containing the repository. Run the following command to generate the nmake files. Run the following command to build the source into an executable. The executable will be located in the bin directory. You can now use whatever code editor you choose to develop your PGE application and use nmake to build it. Visit the PGE template project GitHub repository and scroll down to the instructions for the Ubuntu and Ubuntu-based distros. Launch a terminal. The exact commands may change over time, so it's important to review the current commands and use them straight off the GitHub repository. Type the following command to update your package manager. This command requires super user access. You will likely be prompted for your password. Type the following command to install the required software. Again, this command requires super user access. Say yes to proceed with the installation. Ensure everything is installed properly by issuing the following commands. Clone the GitHub repository. Run the following commands to generate the Unix make files. Now run make to build the source code into an executable. The executable will be located in the bin directory. You can now use whatever code editor you choose to develop your PGE application and use make to build it. Visit the PGE template project GitHub repository and scroll down to the instructions for Manjaro and Arch-based distros. Launch a terminal. The exact commands may change over time, so it's important to review the current commands and use them straight off the GitHub repository. Type the following command to install the required software. This command requires super user access. You will likely be prompted for your password. Hit enter to install all of the base devel repository. Say yes to proceed with the installation. Ensure everything is installed properly by issuing the following commands. Clone the GitHub repository. Run the following command to generate the Unix make files. Now run make to build the source code into an executable. The executable will be located in the bin directory. You can now use whatever code editor you choose to develop your PGE application and use Make to build it. On macOS, we need to install Xcode. Launch the App Store and search for Xcode. In the results, look for Xcode and click the Get button. Xcode is going to take some time to install. Your mileage may vary, but it took several hours for my machine to install it. 
After Xcode is installed, launch Finder. Click Applications on the left-hand side, then scroll down to Utilities. Launch a terminal. Visit the Homebrew website. Click the Copy button and paste it into the terminal. This will install Homebrew on your machine. Type the following command to install the required software. Visit the PGE Template Project GitHub repository. Clone the GitHub repository. Run the following command to generate the Unix makefiles. Now run make to build the source code into an executable. The executable will be located in the bin directory. You can now use whatever code editor you choose to develop your PGE application and use make to build it.